All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachachwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And as always, I would like to give double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And welcome to another series of quick and important information being brought to you by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. The title of this article is called U.S. Storm Death Deaths Rise. Now, we must always remember that despite these storms, right? Rather if it be a snowstorm, rather if it be a sand blizzard, rather if, you know, it could even be raining outside with, with five feet of snow. And people can be walking out there and it can be freezing as fuck outside. People have no idea that the Heavenly Father is behind that. Yes, that's right. It can be four degrees outside. It can literally be... It can be minus 20 degrees outside and be raining. Guess who's responsible for that? The Heavenly Father. You people out there, you have no idea of the Heavenly Father. Now, you Christians, you teach people that... You teach people that the Heavenly Father is all love. He will never hurt a fly. But the Holy Scriptures tell you otherwise. In the matter of fact, if we go to the book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 18, just real quick. Okay. The Heavenly Father is not a nice person. He is far from a foolish person. The word nice means foolish for those who do not understand. Right? And I can even read verse 18 because the Spirit is on me to read it. Woe unto you, right? It says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai is darkness and not light. Now, you got Christians who teach you that when the Lord come back, it's going to be, oh, happy days. You know, clapping hands and shit, stumping your feet. You know, you're, you're wiggling your head like like, like a Navy SEAL. Ar, 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 ar. When Jesus, well, uh, you know, his name is not even Jesus. His true name is Yahweh Shai. So, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion in a bare meadow, or went into a house, and, and, and went, or uh, uh, as if a man did flee from a lion and, and a and a bare meadow. So the day of the Lord is going to be terrifying. Okay. And a lion and a bear are two of the most ferocious animals you can encounter. Because they both have powerful jaws to tear your body to pieces. And once they get to eating you and there's nobody to deliver you, you're going to be in trouble. Now, if you're of the elect, like it tells you in the book of Job, the fifth chapter, the Lord is going to protect you. So it says, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall. You know, you might have ran inside the house and leaned your hand on the wall because you was tired. <sighs> you know, you might have just, you could have been tired from just running from a martial law troop. 
You could have been tired from running from a monstrous apparition. You could have been tired from whatever. But then you ran inside the house and leaned your hand on the wall, right? And, but then a serpent bites you. Now, now you're in the custody of the uh, of, of FEMA troops. Now you're going to be sent off to a concentration camp to be either raped, chopped in pieces, or murdered. This is actually going to happen. It says, and a serpent bit him. In this spiritual how it mentions the lion, the bear, and the serpent. Because we know the, the, the lion to be who? The beginning of the Greek rulership. We know the bear to be who? The, 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 uh, the Persian and the Medes. We know the serpent to be who? The so-called white man going back to the Garden of Eden. And we also know that inevitably... We know that the serpent and the lion, which are, you know, the lion are the Greeks, the so-called white people, they have, they have, they have rule or control over the bear. So those Edomites, so those people down there are Russian, they're Edomites. So guess what? The Lord's going to use them to bring terror upon our people and shall not Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark, and no darkness in it? So now let's go to Amos chapter 5 verse 18. Okay. It says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Right? Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. You know you? You got Christians out there who say, oh, happy days, right? When Jesus walked, well, guess what? Who the world calls Jesus, he's doing this through the name of his father, Yahweh. Okay? At least 49 people have died as a result of the code. Who did this? The heavenly father, Yahweh, did. They got a picture of somebody buried in snow now. I believe this is photoshopped because who the hell is going to stand right here in snow filming themselves being in snow? So, anyways, you know, here it is. You got this guy standing on snow, but then you got this guy buried in it. But still, they use this picture to show you how bad it is down there. But you got people saying, oh, happy days. Man, shut your bald-headed, big lip ass. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Oh, happy day. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Okay. So that's all I need to read right there, okay? At least 49 people have died as a result of a cyclone once in a generation went. Uh, come on, man. A cyclone during the winter time? You know that's the Lord doing it, man. <laughs> a cyclone once in a generation? Nah, it's not that it's just once in a generation. It's just one of those things that the Heavenly Father decided to bring back. Because cyclones happen all the time down there in Alaska, okay? Every time you see one, 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 one of those, you know, major, large snowflakes twirling around down there in Alaska, guess what? That's the Lord creating a cyclone. Cyclones happen even in the wintertime. The Lord can create cyclones or tornadoes anytime he wants. In the matter of fact, let's go to Nahum. Chapter 1, verse 3. It says, The Lord is slow to anger and great in power 
and he will not at all acquit the wicked. Yahweh have his way in the whirlwind and in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. Okay? So, the Lord have his way in the whirlwind. What is a whirlwind? A whirlwind? Come on, man. You should know what a whirlwind is. A whirlwind, when you break it down, the word whirl means to go in a circle while going upwards or downwards. And then you got the word wind. A whirlwind. A whirlwind is a tornado, a cyclone, even a hurricane. Okay, you look at a hurricane. What do you see? Clouds twirling around in a circle creating heavy winds going at over a hundred miles per hour the Lord did that so you people don't know the Lord okay he did he did this and to prove that the Heavenly Father have killed at least 49 people of you which I'm pretty sure is higher than that let's go to the book of Samuel's this is the book of Samuel, chapter 2, verse 6. <laughs> okay, it says, The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and he bringeth up. You understand? You see? If somebody dies, the Lord did it. So at least 49 people have died. You know, oh, happy days. No, the Lord ordained your death. Okay, through Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. With that, I'm going to say Shalom is on to the next one.